Aren't you glad the two young strong men came here to Oh yeah. With the <laughs> Absolutely. I wonder better if it slipped and busted his ass. We're gonna <laughs> And where did you find Bubba? I had been looking at videos, a lot of yours. My videos? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so people watch my videos and buy pods. Oh, I do. You are obviously a waterholic. <laughs> All right, Bubba, nice neighborhood. Where are we at? Cordova Eads, right here at the border of Cordova and Eads, Tennessee. Okay, outside of Memphis. And I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, where I get the pleasure of going around and visiting certified aquascape contractors and seeing water features that they build. You said there's two ponds here? Yeah, one by the patio and a large one. Not one, but two water features. Let's go check out another beautiful aquascape ecosystem. Wow, I can hear it. Holy cow. That is a big pond. And then look right over here, another one. Okay, so which one was first? What's the story here, buddy? They're both built at the same time. Oh, okay. Started out, she had an old pond right here. Of course, she started with a pond. Didn't like it, didn't have good filtration. Started getting it out, tearing it out, but then she decided she wanted something up close to the patio. And due to the swell right here with the water drainage, it wasn't gonna be beneficial to find good. any further out than what it was, because a lot of heavy rains, you have a lot of water runoff through here. Okay, so basically because of this right here, you ended up putting in two separate features. There's Miss Janice now. Miss Janice! How are you? I'm the pun guy, Greg. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well. So you are obviously a waterholic. Oh yes, it's my piece. And I did this for my birthday present to myself on so my 75th. Your 50th birthday. My 75th. You look good, <laughs> sister. You look good. How long ago was this? Two years. Okay, so uh, this well, has been not in... quite two years, was it, Bubba? About a year and a half. A year and a half now. Oh, you had a pond before. I did. So tell me a little bit about your story with water. I had an ongoing battle trying to keep that pond going. Was it a pond that you built that? or? Yes. Okay. Just kind of do it yourself and then finally decided, no, this isn't going to work until we get somebody. And that's how you so, found Bubba. Right. And where did you find Bubba? I had been looking at videos, a lot of yours. My videos? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so people watch my videos and buy pods. Oh, I do. I watched and I watched and I watched. And so then I decided that I would look up Aquascape. So I talked to both of them and finally settled. Since it brings you so much peace, this was a good investment? Oh, absolutely. I love it. I'm usually out here reading. I'm looking at this view and it is just spectacular. And is this one of the things that Bubba did was design it so that you could see it from all the different areas in your house? Oh yeah. I could see why you like to read out here. Oh yeah. Everybody else who comes to yeah. visit, they walk through the door and they immediately say, talk about how peaceful it is. Retired high school principal and this is where you find your peace and tranquility. Oh, absolutely. When people want to know about maintenance, this is an extensive pond. This is not a small little pond. Oh, yeah. We've not had any real problems, have we? 
Not that you made me aware of, anyway. I, <laughs> well, I tell you. <laughs> so you tell, you tell me otherwise. I don't think we've ever They clean it. So once a year, they do a yeah. drain and clean. There's been not a lot of issues. So what was it like when you got here, Bubba? What'd you end up doing? Well, there used to be a big willow tree on the far right side. Just a big open pond with a waterfall. Probably about the statue there. So we took it further up the hill. We have a 6,000 mile fall up there. We've got a wetland bog filter over there where the cannons are growing up tall in that area. And then you got the intake bay over here. But the old one just had a skimmer on the far side. Then the waterfall is coming down. It was probably a little bit smaller than that one there, I guess. So what would a project like this entail in terms of the amount of tonnage of stone, time to build it, product use, selling price? I think we put 38 ton of stone between the two. So almost 80,000 pounds of rock. Yeah, started out been a sunny day and it started raining at about two o'clock and then we had freezing temperatures that night and thawed out the neck. It took us probably about nine, 10 days. Actual working normally take about seven to do one, six or seven maybe. Price wise, it's a little over 40. So it's not an inexpensive investment, but you think it was a good one? Oh, I do. I knew that it was not going to be uh, inexpensive. As a matter of fact, I could have gone with less because Brother did give me options. I had decided I didn't have this water, and I decided that I wanted water close to me. I have been loving it because, as I said, everywhere across the back of the house, I can see. You got a beautiful outdoor kitchen here. Right. You're living it up. Well, if you walk in my front door, you can actually see all the way through. Let's do that. Yeah, so you open up, welcome people to your house, and the yes. first thing they see when they walk in is the windows. Yes. Wow. So you can see the water quality here, and it's because this is the filter. There's the snorkel, there's a centipede, there's aqua blocks. These plants and the gravel filter out the water, and this is how you absolutely have crystal clear water with fish in full sun, just like this. She's got an automatic doser on here to add bacteria. There's a skimmer intake filter over there. And look at the canna, and this is May right now when I'm filming this. I don't know when this vlog is gonna come out, but by the end of the year, that stuff is just gonna be probably almost twice as high, and look at how thick it is. This is only been in here for two years. It's supposed to look this way. This is exactly how a pond is supposed to look. And I just love the setting. I love that it completely has transformed this space. So we're gonna repot some lilies while we're out here. Okay. So this stuff just came in the mail, huh? Yeah. Well, she ordered it from the right spot, but this is about probably over half the time I see this where the plants that get sold and they go to the store and they buy them and the pots that they're sold in, see there's not much soil left. The container is not very big. So we're gonna take this out of here and we're gonna fill this up, which is Aquascape fabric bowl. We're gonna fill it up with Aquascape planting medium. And the only thing that you don't have right now is the fertilizer. You'll get even more blooms when you fertilize. Okay, great. So Bubba just took this out and you can see how it was root bound. We're gonna plant this and I would put fertilizer on there normally, but I'm telling you this right now, you're gonna get way more blooms and okay. the health plant's gonna be so much healthier. Look at the difference now in this plant and this is just a mixture of gravel and sand and soil and then we're gonna put gravel on top of this before we put it back in but look at the difference here between this container and this so now let's put some gravel on there aren't you glad the two young strong men came here to oh yeah the <laughs> absolutely I wonder better if it slipped and busted his ass we're gonna <laughs> Now this plant right here is gonna grow like this. That's how big that plant's gonna be now that we've opened it up. Uh -huh. The first thing is we're gonna repot the plants, fertilize the plants, and then the second thing is we're gonna get you an ion gen because you need an ion gen, which is little copper probes that will sit in your intake bay over there and it will release a little bit of copper ions and it will get rid of so that when you have full sun hitting your waterfall over there and uh -huh. you have clear water, the sunlight goes through, it causes a string algae. The copper will get absorbed by the string algae. It'll break apart and the fish, that's why you have no string algae down here, the fish will eat it up. Oh, absolutely. That's awesome. <laughs> you don't have to be dealing with all the net and Yeah, you won't have to pull that. We won't have to pull it out. And in fact, because you're so cool, I'm just going to send you one. Oh! 
Oh, thank you. This is absolutely my pleasure. If you have string algae, I'll show you the string algae here in a second, you want to get an ion gen. An ion gen will literally eliminate it by breaking it apart. The only thing is, if you don't have string algae, you don't want to keep it on because copper is not good for fish. But if there's string algae in the pond and you put an ion gen on, it will make it literally fall off the rocks and go away. And I'm going to show you what string algae looks like right up here because you're going to see some of it. So this hair algae, string algae, it's kind of unsightly. It's kind of like weeding. She's been pulling this out periodically from her stream, but the bottom line here is an ion gen will let this stuff break apart. It will flow downstream. It will go into the pond and the fish will eat it up. So just a few little tips. Get more planting soil, bigger containers for your plants, ion gen to get rid of string algae. And besides that, a 75 year old grandma, great grandma can live the aquascape lifestyle without too much of a hassle. Beautiful hydrangeas is a perfect backdrop to the stack slate urns. So we got a vertical elevation here with the waterfalls over there and of course the seating area over there. Really nice combination. I love this bridge. Nice natural stone bridge. But we're just hanging out, sitting over there and the only thing that I don't like about my job is leaving. And I love the fact that she went online, hired a certified aquascape contractor and now this brings her peace. This is a retired principal and not only does she have these ponds but she's got a fire area she's got an outdoor kitchen and i love to say this is what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about it's not just the decorative water feature it's how you use the environment the beautiful windows that she's able to look at it from inside she's got all of these fish i mean she's got some gorgeous fish down here that are trained to eat out of her hands but i mean she said this was just grass when she moved in but you have a slope like this facing towards your house you absolutely want to put in a water feature or waterfalls and the fountainscapes i mean she's got all of the elements and what i I love about this is this shows what people can do with some creativity and this is why I have this channel to inspire people to live the aquascape lifestyle and what I enjoy so much is meeting people where this changes and transforms how they use their space this is what brings her peace and tranquility and that's what makes my job so fun that's why I say I love my job and if you're interested in living the aquascape lifestyle too check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor just like she did in your area I love my job.